during my time in rank, I ran into a wall at some point. I was like critically stuck on Mighty Ruler. And I understand that purple is a rank to be proud of. It's not a rank to be ashamed of. But I was sitting there on Mighty Ruler for the longest time trying to figure out why I just can't level up. But as you just see in the top right corner, I'm a flame ruler. Now I did run into a wall and ranked in Tekken 8. But I managed to overcome that wall and I wanted to tell you how I did it because maybe it will help you. This one's kind of a long one, so grab a snack, relax, but pay attention, take notes, things that I will be covering today, just so you're aware, and also timestamps will be in the description below. But the things I'm gonna talk about are my first to 10, the replay system, practicing different moves, taking advantage of plus frames, and lastly is learning more about sidesteps and sidestep moves. Again, timestamps are in the description. Other than that, let's get it. So unfortunately for the first of 10 matches, I do not have access to them Aww. due to them probably being uh, private online matches. And it was mostly like really a first to 20, but I count the first 10 matches because it was against uh, it was against my buddy's Jen, and there was a lot of learning happening in uh, the, the first 10 matches. But for one throughout the first of 10, he 100% beat the shit out of me, but it was very smoothly, like it was very smooth movement. He avoided a lot of the attacks I would usually use online, and it was unexpected. I didn't expect it at all, and he took full advantage of my uh, unexpectedness, and it worked in his favor heavily. I did manage to grab a few matches off of him, very, very few <laughs> out of 20 matches altogether, but he exposed a lot of my uh, flaws in gameplay, and I, I did love it, though. I loved that he did, because it helped... Uh, oh. It helped open my mind up a little bit to learn uh, new routes and stuff like that. He gave me major advice on what I did wrong and he used different moves throughout my gameplay because I was not using different moves. I kept running back to my uh, back three a lot. He punished every single time. Like, that was one big thing with him. He punished everything that was uh, unsafe. He literally did not hesitate. He punished me every single time. Like, he really got me uh, throwing uppercuts now instead of my back three because I relied on that back three a lot, but no longer. Now we're using down forward two. Another thing he suggested to me was taking advantage more. Uh, I will be talking about uh, frame advantage later in the video, but right now um, I'm just talking about taking advantage of my plus frame moves I was using on him. I happen to use, uh, actually let me grab an example. All right, here we are in the lab. And uh, hi, if you are new here, I do use wall rain quite a bit. I wouldn't call myself a main. Maybe I do use him majority of the time, but I use Warrain, if you didn't know, but here we are, I use this combination right here, now I am plus one, plus one, now, I can't, I, I can't say I can't do a lot, I can do quite a bit off of plus one, but it's a lot of quick attacks, ones that can be punished if hit right, alright, this is the one I use right after, boom, 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 bam, bop. Now that will put me minus one. I'm, I'm pretty much good to freely move around, back up, uh, put more pressure on people. It just keeps the pressure alive. I kept doing this a lot. I kept hitting them. I kept, I kept more running away from uh, the smoke, you know? And it just was like, it's not warring. This character is all about stepping forward. Like I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get back into the game. And good luck trying to fight back off of this. And I, and I have, uh, I will get to it later in the video as well. I have, uh, fought somebody that found their way around that <laughs> let's just say that I'll try to find the match if I can but that uh, down forward one it, it can be move like that down forward one can be avoided that's all I can say but wrapping up for the first to ten set that was pretty much the idea of the first to ten was to learn what I needed to add learn what I was missing and figure out what I wasn't using but there's a lot I wasn't using for while for wall rain and he like he does a lot <laughs> but moving on we can go ahead and head back to the replay system now how did the replay system help me overcome the the wall i faced in tekken let's see the the dubs and the, the losses okay so we have to look at the losses that's the only time you really learn anything you can learn some stuff from victories don't get me wrong you really can you just see some gaps you just see some maybe some surprising things you did you didn't even know you did and i think this is the the thing that figured out what the uh, down forward one, how to avoid that shit, I think this is the guy. But we can, uh, no I won a lot of that one, so we're not gonna do that. 
let's see, let's let's take a loss right here. This is Flame Ruler. We'll go back to Mighty Ruler because this is where we had the wall at. As I was losing quite a bit right here. This that this guy does snap, bro. But I did learn from him that you know. Shout out to the trunks, though. You know, you feel me. But oh, and he had the fucking the fit on. You feel me? Like it was cool. But he taught me a lot in this match or these matchups. Was he? He kicked my ass, bro. I'm not gonna lie, but he taught me a lot about sidestepping here. And this is, I'm just replaying, like, this is just about the replay system. I just want to give you a shred of, like, what it does, man. Like, just watch him step in, like, and I'm like, like, look at him just gliding past me every time, and it's crazy. And this is what my friend was doing as well in the first of 10 sets. Like, he was, he was stepping quite a bit, and, like, my friend's steps are fucking damn near flawless. It's amazing. But... This thing right here has some good steps as well. I do, you know, get around on him because I'm still that guy sometimes, you know. But no, the set was good. His stepping caught me a lot in replaying uh, and seeing like just how he was doing it. It kind of helped uh, understand that it can't be used all the time. The down forward one is what I'm referring to, but it can't be used all the time. Not uh, in every instance, but it is a safe move to throw out. Oh, we have example of something else too. This is a good time to use the back three. I did not use the back three, I don't think. Yeah. I tried to do the uppercut, but I couldn't. It was too far. Do I actually win against him? This might be the wrong feint, I'm not sure. But this feint stepping was good too. I, I ran into a few, uh, it was always the feints that had like amazing stepping. But they would step the hell out of me easily. But for replays, man, I looked for the mistakes in here. And this one, this is a bad example right now, at least, because I was winning. But I looked for the mistakes right there. I didn't catch that low, and that pretty much... That fucked up the whole round, I think. I'm pretty sure I lose this. Yeah, and I, I'm not prepared for the little mixies he's throwing out. So I'm, I looked for mistakes in the in these, uh, these small reviews, man. I should not be throwing out that fucking low, high kick. It is so dangerous. I've been punished by severely by certain characters. Fane really doesn't get much on me, but a lot, a lot of Fane players don't seem to really know how to play Fane, but he's still very strong. And I, I know you saw that just frame, though. Your boy getting better with that. I am throwing it out in more matches. I don't use it enough. And then there you go. Now we're even up. I also look for character weaknesses, uh, like mostly mine and then also like other people's like while I'm watching these reviews, just in case you like you didn't feel it during the match, you know, because some matchups, man, like they come out of nowhere, I swear, they come out of nowhere, you're like, man, how the hell do you fight this guy, and then they're using like the most bizarre shit, and it's just, it's wild, but it's still a good time, and it's interesting to uh, learn different characters like each matchup so you never know who you fight and i would say that part does suck but it's funny Ooh, and I, I thought i would have him there and uh, i remember i was like Whoa. like i had to flip and everything already the, the toe was about to hit him right in the nose and it just didn't work i don't i don't know but a big thing i had to learn from the replay system man was uh safety a lot of people at like higher levels or as i don't know how high of a level purple is but i know it's uh it's pretty decent. It's not terrible. But a lot of uh, purple and up is just, it's so safe. Everything is like safety. When I fought my friend in the first of tens, he was safe. He was like very, very safe. And it was like the safest I ever fought anybody so far. He, he was blue rank, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. He was like, he was Kushin. And he was, he was going crazy, man. I never fought, actually, no, I can't say I never fought a blue rank. I have fought blue ranks online. You could tell they were false blue ranks, though. They weren't very good. All right, the next task, we are, we're on our third one now. And sorry if I do get a little disorganized. I never manage to stay on the topic for real. Because <laughs> a lot of it just kind of blends together, but I try to organize it to make it more understandable because it all kind of equals out to one thing. But I just low-key try to like break it down, basically. But the next thing we do have is the practice. So we'll jump into there. And we'll see what I, what I had to do in there. So here we are again back in the lab. And the first thing I had to do... I had to do it first. When I had to come back in here, I had to come back in here and look at the move list. 
I had to go back in here and redo my entire list, bro, because the way my friend destroyed my pride and wall rain, bro, is just insane. So I had to come back in here and relearn some new moves in here to figure out like what else I can do because I was I was using the same shit on him, bro, and it just wasn't working. And it was unfortunate because that's what I was using online. It was working up to a degree, but I was also stuck. And I didn't ask him for the help, but he wanted to play some matches. And I don't even know if he realized how much he helped me, but I literally got to Flame Ruler like next day off of just a few tips and going into practice. Like, it can really change up a lot using these like little things in here, like first to tens. Like, if you don't have a friend, bruh, like, I mean, I'll, I'll fight your ass, bruh. <laughs> But if you don't have any friends to uh, run some games with, bro, you can learn a lot from, uh, especially like a good player. If you have played a good good friend to learn from, but even uh, your bad friends, bro, you can learn something from fighting somebody that you can talk back and forth with, even like text with, it doesn't matter. But you can learn a lot. But in here, I had to learn quite a bit of new moves because like I had like my, like I said, I used back three a lot. That's what I used so much. And I did use the uppercut, but more of a backup when like they were punishing back three, I was like, oh, let me throw out the uppercut, and the uppercut is short range. It's so, like, it's so short range, it's not very good, but it is safe. So it's something safe to throw out, and it should be used more. But unfortunately, uh, after fighting my friend, I didn't know that it did not launch off a, a crouch hit. So if you didn't know, um, wall rank cannot launch you with a down forward two if you're crouching. Even if you get hit by it, it would just be that little uh, whack-ass tap, and, like, the character kind of bounces, and it just, like... It's, can I example it? Let's see. Oh, not that one. Let's make uh, him him crouch. So that, that way in case people haven't seen it. Yeah, that's what I need right there. Oh, we got counters on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't get mad, don't get mad. Okay. There, that, that little whack-ass chin tap, bruh, that does nothing for me, bruh. Besides maybe plus. Like, you know, you get some frames for the, the whack chin tap. I give it that. But it's just like... It ain't worth it, bro. You you missed your launch opportunity. You basically, you made Warren Steve at that point, and that shit sucks. But anyway, <laughs> I'd be off topic like hell, bro. I told you. But I went in here. I practiced some new moves. I wasn't using this enough. I don't use that enough, like ever, bro. I, I like online, bro. I'd be stressing already, and I'm just like, oh no, oh no, oh no, ugh. And then like I'd be out of range, like hell, like this. It happens every time. Just boom, and then I can't do nothing, or I get punished severely, or I get hit with some shit like that. And it's just, it's a wrap for me. And it, that's how I end up losing, or all some crazy shit. They'd be like, oh no, I threw a jab out, and then boom, here comes this. But that's another video, bro. That's another video, bro, about the crazy little moments like that. That's, I'll do another one on that. But we're still in practice mode. I practice uh, more of my stance movements a little bit because I never, I don't use this. I, I don't, um, this side. I don't do this, like, very often. I do now. I added this into my repertoire. Perfect. You know what I mean? And now I do this quite a bit. Like, I'm, a, I'm more of a threat now with wall rank. I didn't realize how, like, open I was. And, you know, I used the uh, the K-Swiss, or K-Wiz uh, special. The, the fist right there, you know, the, the two. I used that. Made sure I get the, the punish when people start ducking on me. I, I notice it or something, you're getting, you're getting the combo immediately, bro. If I see people like do it too often, and you see that, that sucks right there when you lose that. When you're like, let me be safe this time. This, hold on, let me, let me get a Korean in, there we go. Okay, this right here is like, unsafe as hell, bro. But it's so much fun to use. But I do use it at range. Like at the, at the range, cause like, wall range kinda like, his low is like, high key. Like, I'm just, I'm just saying, do not get upset in the com in my comment section, bro. Do not get upset. His low suck, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, just the way they hit, it just feels like, not all of them, though. Like, this one right here is superior. The best low in the game, probably. Uh, this, this right here, second best low in the game, bro. Gotta be. They gotta be. Anyway, but this right here, bro, the, I, this ain't cutting it, bro. You know, this into, to like, Flamengo, bro, you know, that... That kind of cuts it right there, bro. I, I, I like that. I fuck with that. That's okay. Like, maybe they're not all terrible. It's like, this is okay. This right here is awful. It, it's awful. It really is. Like, if this gets avoided, bro, it's, it, you're gone. Like, it sucks. This right here, just like... If you, you just try to half-ass it, it just like... It, it just slows all the momentum down. Like, I don't even know how to better describe that. I don't know if anybody else feels that. 
If you feel that, let me know in the comment section, bro, because, like, that just slows all the momentum down, bro, whenever I'm, like, I'm boxing around as wall rain, bro, I'm moving, I'm sick of moving, I, even if I accidentally do this, but I mean this, I really do, but if I hit this, and it's safer, too, it is just, like, I don't know, I feel like it makes it so sluggish. But I practice new stance moves, bro. I was not incorporating a lot of the stance movements, because he has quite a bit of things you can do in a damn stance. You can even switch stances while you're stancing. And I don't do any of that. And imagine you do this online, man, and it's just like, they're cooked, bro. Like, what are you gonna do? And that's why I love Warwain. I love this character. I love stance characters. I might have to play Zafina, bro. But practice helped me get unstuck. Because I obviously didn't practice enough. I practiced what I knew. I took from from seven what I knew, brought it into eight, practiced a little bit, I ran through the move list, and then ran online. And I play when I can, you know, I ran online and I was using the same shit. It was working, it was working, it was working, it was working. You know, past all the rankings. And then boom, oh, we got to Mighty Ruler, and then like bam, like I can't get past that. It's slowing me down. What's going on? But I went in here, practiced the things that uh, my friend was telling me, reviewed some matches, uh, learned some new moves in here, boom, I turned into Flame Ruler next day. Like, type shit, bro. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, you can learn a lot, especially from this game. In, in a day, you can learn quite a lot. Don't just play ranked all the time, bro, and that's it. You gotta learn other ways. But next, we talked about taking advantage of frames. I'm gonna refer back to this setup right here. This is nice. You get a you get a nice plus one right there. Uh, another move I was not using uh, ever. <laughs> this one right here, one of his best moves. Literally, like if it's uh, blocked, let's go put him on block. That is plus one as well. You know, you're you're not getting anything crazy. I'm I'm not saying you're getting launches or anything like that, but you you get. You get, you get enough to what you to handle, you know, you throw a high, you get your good mid that you can use on either stance side, it doesn't even matter, you can hit it on either side. It's a pause. <laughs> but you can, uh, you can do that. And this is a really good thing that I was not using, I was not using advantage, uh, advantage frames at all. And, and just not using this move in general is crazy, plus two on that. Plus one, I'm guessing on tipping range is plus two. Maybe just for the, the distance. But it is also very, um, I will say, very high risk if uh, you are not in range. I will say that. Very high risk. So do not throw it from back here. It does have distance. Like, as you see, it does cover quite a bit. It almost gets it's about 75% there. But you want to be about mid-range. Uh, maybe mid-range a little far. Maybe about short mid-range. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll say short, short range. Yeah, there you go. You get plus two on tipping point. But you can use that. That's frames right there. And there we put the mid in here. You're trapped. Because this is already 13. You're putting plus two. You're at 11, bro. Like, you're not getting much on me besides this. Like, if they're throwing punches out, you're gonna... That, that is how you stop that, by the way. If you want to stop the wall range spam, you know, throw some punches out. It, it is slower than the punches. That, that's it. But that is a wall range safe option. You have, you know, a multitude of other ones that you can use. So it just like, that's just one of the things that made people scared of wall range. And I just had to learn to keep that pressure up. I, I didn't do this enough. I didn't do this enough. I didn't do anything else enough. It was always relying on this, backing up every time. And that's it. And then I try to get my way back in when I already had the advantage low key and I could just been doing this. But now, if I do this, I have to be cautious of their retaliation. And that's something I'm learning now. And that will probably ascend me to the next level, which is Battle Ruler. But, obviously, a video for another day with Battle Ruler. But now, we are moving on to the last thing I want to talk about, was the importance of sidestepping and the sidesteps, uh, the moves. Like, just uh, sidestep moves in general, because I really don't use them. And I feel like that's an issue. I feel like I should use my sidestep moves because Warren has some of the best ones. Like his uh, his sidestep like three three is actually safe. I didn't know that. I should have, you know, did the research and practiced that, but I didn't. And I really want to find this fame for you guys, man. Like he was like sidestep king. I don't know if it's the one I actually beat though. I may it may be the one I beat. I'm not sure. Let me look though. Get ready for the next battle. I 
I think this is the dives. I remember he did he did have the little drip, so we don't we don't see. But we're talking talk about sidestepping. I kept getting sidestepped like by my friend, by Fane, like look at this man bro. He he was just doing me dirty for a while, but he still lost though. But like he was doing me dirty for real. But I kept getting sidestepped. Uh, I wasn't utilizing those uh, those new tracking moves I learned as well. I was not using those at the time, like before uh, before the ascension. You know, I was getting sidestepped, not using tracking moves, and it got me caught a lot. And he was also sidestepping my um, my down forward one. And if this isn't the right uh, the right fight with uh, the Fame that sidestepped a lot, my bad. I I fought Fame quite a few times, so I'm trying to learn him now. But I don't, um, I don't know where the video is for Alright, I think it cut off there. My PC crashed. I learned to start sidestepping more often. That helped me improve the gameplay. And I was able to elevate and go past Mighty Ruler and go to Flame Ruler. Overall, the main point of overcoming the wall that you run into in Tekken is that you'll improve through trial and error. There's a lot to learn when it comes to Tekken. And you'll learn a lot just by playing and rank. But you're not going to learn everything by just fighting people. You have to go to the lab. You have to take the time to learn the frames, learn frame traps, learn your safe moves, learn your unsafe moves, and utilize them all while you're fighting. While you're thinking, while you're avoiding attacks, while you're missing attacks, while they're missing attacks. There's so much to it. You're not going to be able to get it all in one day. Don't stress yourself out over it. Take the time, practice, and you'll get there. But today I took the time to go over the first of 10 that I had with my friend. Shout out to Jalen for the matches. We checked out the replay system. A great way to learn Tekken 8. I hit the lab, always hit the lab, at least once a day. If you're if you're playing Tekken constantly, if you play the games, it's fine, but hit the lab at least before you go online. Learn something new in there before you jump back in. Take advantage of frames. Having plus frames is always good. Take advantage of it. Some characters have really good plus frame moves. So, like way better than wall range so you need to be using it if you're not you're literally holding yourself back and lastly the importance of sidestepping be sure to sidestep more use the sidestep moves learn the moves that can be sidestepped especially those mishimas i know you're having issues out there with that but that's some tips man i really hope they help you guys level up they helped me improve it got the flame ruler i was stuck in mighty ruler for a minute getting your ass beat sucks it really does now i'm on the path to next rank i just want to reflect on my experience i hope you all enjoyed if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I'll try to get the video to three and a half likes. Now go watch something else on the channel. I'll holla at y'all later. I'm out of here.